Hello, this is Andrew from Sommo, where we help uh, clients all over the world build uh, great products using no-code and uh, low-code tools. And in today's video, I would like to show you how to use Firebase as a backend, no-code backend for your application in cases where you would like to use a separate backend uh, in your solution. Firebase is built by Google and made by Google, uh, and it is a very, very f powerful app development platform that offers you pretty much anything from uh, the file storage authentication to monitoring, crash analytics, um, even Google Analytics, uh, A-B testing, etc. But uh, right now we'll be uh, interested primarily in the database and uh, uh, their API to uh, build our own solution on top of Firebase. Uh, Database is, uh, you'd pr probably use a Firestore, their version of the database here, where you can quite quickly define your different collections, for example, like profile with uh, first name, last name, etc., company, products, uh, etc. It's a bit hard, to be honest, to write uh, and, and uh, create collections directly right here, because, for example, when you add new document, even though all the other fields in the other documents are of this format, like is active location name, in the new one, you would need to um, repeat them all from the very beginning. But anyway, you can do that. Uh, and uh, that's it. You can go to uh, Firebase uh, REST uh, API documentation and uh, start uh, building your uh, API. For example, like I do here. Interesting uh, parts that you would need to your, uh, use your data, your uh, project ID, it is right here. And uh, the, they also have such a notion of database ID, but it's actually just the word default in parentheses, exactly. Uh, add companies, and uh, that's it. You can make requests and, uh, oops, and uh, uh, get your uh, documents that are stored in uh, Firebase. As you can see, the format of the return fields uh, from Firebase is a bit uh, particular, I would say. It is not very standard and a bit uh, more complex to work with than with uh, regular REST APIs uh, that, for example, Superbase, uh, Bubble, or Xeno give you, like fields, then you have nested, found that, this is timestamp, and only then you read timestamp. It's not a, like an end of the world, but a bit harder to work with with your uh, then front-end uh, application. Well, uh, working, getting all the cons all the uh, records in your database is great, but of course uh, you uh, might want to uh, protect your collections and records in the database by authorizing your users and only then giving access to particular collections to the authorized users. For that, you would need to use uh, Firebase uh, uh, authentication uh, identity toolkit that they have here. It's a bit separate API that you can still find on their uh, website here and uh, use it to sign up both users and uh, then sign in, uh, fetch, pa uh, reset password, verify password, confirm, confirm password, pretty much any, um, anything that you uh, would typically uh, need to do with your uh, project on uh, Firebase. And uh, yeah, by the way, before that, you would also want to uh, go to your authentication and set up, uh, and set up uh, what sign-in method and sign-in providers you would want to use. They have both uh, default, like email password provider, as well as lots of other third-party uh, providers like uh, Facebook, Microsoft, etc. So using their identity toolkit API, uh, you can go and, uh, for example, authorize my demo users, like right here, that I use with my super secure password, and in response, get an ID token. ID token is actually an access token, and I'm not sure why they call it ID token that you can then use, copy, and use for your uh, request to, as a bearer here, bearer. And uh, now your request will be authorized. Right now it gives this exactly the same re response because we did not set up yet any uh, rules, uh, security rules, uh, where I can, uh, wh where we can limit access to a certain collections uh, for our authorized users or non authorized users, anyway, for any collection. So uh, security rules are also described pretty well on their database, and you can, weigh, um, you can write pretty much any 
combination right now you can see that it allows read write for all users i can change it for example to uh, allow read write if a request host is not null and uh, host user id is not null meaning that the user is authenticated and their id is known and active and uh, in that case my authentication request like right here would work normally as before i would get the same response but for example if i remove it uh, for non-authentication user uh, before they work but now they are uh, not working it says permission denied and uh, yeah you can write rules for example to give read access to companies only to users who are part of this company and uh, for example like write access only to users who are part of this company and have a um, role admin or something like that so uh, on the high level that's pretty much it that's how you can work with uh, firebase through their api I find it a bit uh, hard to be honest to work with Fire Firebase API and especially for example if you would like to make some queries and filter uh, your data, your collections, you would use structured query uh, API that is quite big and complex and I can show you for example an example of the query, a real simple query that I did here that uh, just searches for collections of type, uh, collection type company that have a name equal to Uptech. Uh, let me check the authorization header that I have a, an updated one in bearer. And uh, let's try to make the request. Yeah, and gives me the collection where that uh, name equals to Uptech. Well, uh, you can probably see that it is really, really big uh, JSON that I need to write according to the structured query just to take the collections with the name Uptech. And moreover, for example, in their uh, type of uh, structured query, there are no even filters to, for example, like string contains, where uh, to give all the collection where title contains um, ABC. And that's a really blocker, could be blocker for uh, many use cases. I find it easier with uh, Firebase to work with uh, their native uh, SDKs for, for example, for JS or for Android or for iOS and then it's much, much easier and much more comfortable to work with and interact with both uh, the database, with authentication users, uh, etc. But working through their API, it is pretty hard and uh, challenging, uh, but still possible and can uh, help you if you, for example, have the main application on mobile phone and through uh, this uh, API have uh, a certain functionality also on the web and use as a UI builder, for example, Bubble, Webflow, VWeb, or any other UI front-end solution. That's pretty much it regarding Firebase for your backend. And uh, let me know how do you like it, uh, or what other backend, no code backends do you use. Uh, we'd be glad to know. Thanks for watching and take care.